Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to go over creating a St. Patrick's Day doodly video. Hey, and welcome to the official doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. With St. Patrick's Day coming up, I thought it would be fun to do a short tutorial on how to make a St. Patrick's Day doodly to share on social media. I found this Irish blessing and I thought it was lovely. I've already added the text into Doodly. Uh, you'll notice that I have three lines here. And that's so I can better control the timing of the lines. I think what I would like to do is have a, a little bit of a delay between each one. So this one starts off and then I'll probably do maybe half a second just to give us a breather. And let's go to the props tab. We'll start by looking inside Doodly to see if it has anything that we want to use. I'm most likely thinking we're going to head over to Pixabay and get some of our own graphics, but I thought we'd take a peek and see what we can find. This is an enterprise asset. So if I want to use a horseshoe as some image for good luck, I could do that. Oh, there's a four leaf clover. So I'll take that. And again, this is an enterprise asset. So if you have Enterprise, you can use that. I'm going to go ahead and replace this. But if you have just a standard version, that's not going to help you out. Let's go ahead and turn this green. I'm going to click the gear icon and I'm just going to change the color to green. That's kind of cute. Okay, so we've got a little bit of a start here. I'm looking at costume, just seeing if we have anything that looks kind of Irish, you know, like an Irish dancer or a leprechaun, you know, that guy maybe. I'll have to resize some text, but that should be fine for the moment. Okay, so now let's head over to Pixabay. You can use free images from this site. It's great. So I want a nice little border to go around it. So I'm going to enter here, and I'm going to choose vector graphics. And now we should find all kinds of fancy borders that we can use. Let's try this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and download it. And let's go back into Doodly. And we want to import it. So I'm gonna to go to Props, take the blue sign, I'm gonna browse for it. It's in my downloads file. Let's give it a more descriptive name. Okay, so now, Adjust that. I'm going to go ahead and copy that. Control copy or command copy and then control or command V to paste. And now I want to flip it and I want to rotate it. Oh, maybe I didn't need to flip it. Okay, let me flip it back. Flip it back. Okay, we're getting there. Now we just need to arrange everything a little bit nicer. So these I don't want to draw on. I think we're just gonna have them be kind of background elements. So I'm gonna place them. They're gonna be the first things that you see. And I'm not gonna have them draw on at all. I do want him to be fairly prominent. I, let's have him looking this way. Let's flip him over like that. Now I need to adjust my text because obviously he's blocking the words. And the layout starting to look nice. And let's make the words the dark green. Yeah, I like that. So I'm just entering in the number. I had written down this hex number earlier. So I'm just typing it in. And that way I'm assured that all of the lines are the exact same shade of green. But I would like a little something, a little texture back there. So I want to go back to Pixabay. This might look nice. Go to Props and then the blue plus sign. Browse and here's my new file. The first thing I want to do is I want it to be the very first item that draws onto the screen. And in this case, I don't want it to actually draw. So I'm going to set a zero duration. Next, 
I want to click the settings icon. So it's this little gear here. And I want to turn the opacity way down. Let's try actually 20%. And that's going to look really nice. So now we just want to blow it up and get some color in here. If you use this little tool here in the right, you get more screen space to work with. So I can adjust it a little bit easier. Okay, so let's go back to 100%. I'm not sure I like that clover there. And I want the stem in front of his hand. So that means I need to move that so it draws last. We have to make some adjustments. And let's, let's have this be green as well. Okay, so let's take a look and see how that's looking. Okay, so we have some decisions to make. I don't like it erasing, so I'm gonna turn that off. So I go over here to settings and over here on erase mode, I'm gonna turn that off. So he'll no longer erase my screen. Now we need to decide, do we want this man to come in before the words or after the words? I think we probably want to move him before the words. So I'm just going to move him here as well as this little clover. I want to draw him and the clover much faster. So we're going to go two seconds for the man and we're not going to spend three seconds drawing a clover. Let's go one for the clover. And now let's preview it. Here comes the man, here comes his clover. I need a little pause before the words come on. And we shall do that by coming over here under delay. Let's give it a one second delay. So now all we need is some music. So Doodly has some music already created. So let's go ahead and start listening. So it just takes some listening to, I'm not gonna find an Irish jig in this music library, I'm sure. But I like this one, A Long Day long day, I guess is what it's called. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to place it in here and you'll notice it's way too long for my video. So I'm going to come in and shorten it a bit. So you scroll over and then you just start shrinking it. It'll take a couple of swipes here because it's so long. Okay. So I'm close. What I want, I'm not done yet. I want to add a little bit of time to the end of this video so it doesn't just go away when it writes the word Irish blessing and then it's over. We want it to stay on the screen a little bit longer. So I'm going to add, you know, seven seconds to the end here. So now it's seven seconds longer and now I can adjust it to the end. And it's going to abruptly end here. So I want to right click on the music and choose fade out and now it won't be so abrupt and I'm gonna make it a long fade so it'll just slowly fade out over time and then I probably want to turn it down just a tad it's awfully loud in my ears so that should be fine and it's pretty much ready to go there's one last thing do we want to say happy St. Patrick's Day I think that would be nice so let's make a little speech bubble and have the guy say it And these should be the very last things. Again, we want to adjust our timing. Let's say one second and then one and a half seconds is probably fine. Since we've added time because it draws these on, we do want to add the music so that it ends with the end of the video. We need a little bit of a time delay here between when the hand writes Irish blessing and then comes over here. So once again, let's do we'll say one second should be enough and let's stretch this out because we've added time yet again and then finally if we want to add a little movement we can add a camera movement we go over here click the plus sign let's drag the effect over to the end of the video 
double click it. And what I want to have happen is I want the camera to start full screen. And then I want it to end on the Happy St. Patrick's Day text. Let's, let's leave it so we can see his hand with the clover. Click apply. And let's take a final look. And there we have it, a St. Patrick's Day doodly video. I hope this gave you some ideas. Thanks for watching.